But what was Hans Alvin's kind of grand model for um, reality and how did plasma play a role in that? So he spent a lot of time doing thought experimentation on the cosmos and the structure of the cosmos. At his time, is like, we have probes in Earth's magnetosphere, which is a plasma environment, just but in the near Earth area, right? We can take that model of the magnetosphere and we'll do our best to apply it to the conditions that we do see beyond in interplanetary space. Then once we get probes there, we can refine our model with that new info. You lay that out very nicely. Uh, that really resonates with me. We do see these things also through our telescope observations. So we do have some data and evidence, right? We see these gamma ray bursts and we know that there's certain energy required for these things and how that scales off as it travels across time. So uh, you put all that together and just a recognition of plasma too. Like it requires us to think a little bit beyond gravity. We're in this yeah, a lot of it's our thinking in the history, like we're in this era of Newtonian physics and now we're in that transition to quantum physics, but people are aware of gravity, we interact with them on a day to day. He just brought greater, one of these pioneers of greater awareness as to what plasma is, how it operates, and it's a greater awareness as to electromagnetism and how much more powerful of a force it is than gravity.